Look Marty, it runs on Steam. Yeah, it runs on Steam, so I had to come back for Eni, and I didn't want you to worry about. I'm sorry, Doc, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Didn't we just spend two whole movie hours trying to figure out how to get you back here in the time machine? And now you show up after all that in a time-traveling train. Not only that this train is the most fucking retarded thing I have ever seen. At least with the DeLorean it looked cool. Well never mind that Marty. I came back to see you, so you wouldn't worry about me. Plus I brought you a present. No no don't do that don't try to brush this off. This train takes the whole audience right out of the movie, I mean. We build them up with the conflict of being stuck in 1885. Then here at the end you show up in a big ass time traveling train. What the hell man? I mean really, come on first of all you said in your letter that replacement time circuits wouldn't be invented until 1947. Then you spend the rest of the movie preaching about how dangerous time travel is, and how you want to destroy the time machine. Seems pretty hypocritical doc. Look Marty, no you look this was all Mary Steenburgen's idea wasn't it? Ever since the bitch showed up she has been ruining this movie. Oh yeah and that's another thing. You talk about how as a scientist you can't bring someone from 1885 to the future. What happened to that? You see that's your problem doc Mary or Clara or whatever. Pussy whips you into abandoning all your ideals. Well if you end up imploding the space-time continuum it's all on you doc can you live with it, putting the universe in jeopardy, just to have sex with Clara and make two douchebag kids named Jules and Vern.